58 years old gentleman, uh, WHC, uh, with a past medical history of uh, chronic polyps, uh, diverticulosis, and OA knee. Incidental finding of a, pan a pancreatic cystic lesion. The CT abdomen done in November this year shows two well-defined cystic lesions of uh, 31 mm and 12 mm in the unsnake process of the pancreas. There is no dilatation of the pancreatic duct. And uh, differential diagnosis include a uh, microcystic tumor, IPMN, or other cystic lesion. So this is the CT showing the uh, pancreatic cystic lesion. And today we are going to perform contrast enhanced EUS uh, plus or minus confocal or uh, FNAC. Thank you. Uh, this is, uh, as uh, the presenter mentioned, that uh, this is 58-year-old uh, gentleman uh, presented with cystic lesion in the pancreas upon his CT scan. Uh, for uh, better characterization, I inserted a linear uh, echo endoscope into the stomach. Uh, when I go inside uh, into the stomach, I just uh, start EUS examination at the posterior side of uh, mid-body. And now looking at the posterior side of the mid-body, we can see the pancreatic parenchyme here. And uh, this is closer, no. This is closer, yeah. Uh, we can see pancreatic parenchyme coming into view He's here. Uh, I will rotate my scope to the tail area. And to, I want to see the body and tail area of the pancreas in this case, we can see, we can appreciate the uh, pancreatic duct. This is a uh, main pancreatic duct. I can measure the diameter of the main pancreatic duct. And it is uh, about, uh, about two, two cm, uh, 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 two millimeter in diameter, which is normal in size. And uh, when you observe the, the pancreatic parenchyme, the pancreatic parenchyme also looks normal. Uh, there is no inhomogeneity or lobularity or calcification, no changes at all. If I rotate the scope to clockwise, then I can trace the pancreatic duct and the pancreatic parenchyme uh, to the tail area. These two prominent uh, structures is vascular structure, splenic vein, and the splenic artery. Splenic vein and the splenic artery always abut the pancreas parenchyme, so we can trace the pancreas parenchyme par uh, and the pancreatic duct and the splenic vessel together. Uh, now I'm reaching to the left renal area. This is left kidney. We can see the left kidney here. This is a uh, cortex of the left kidney, and also this area is the medullary area. So. If I zoom out, I can see more clearly the contour of the left kidney. You can appreciate the... Um, mm, such, yeah, such, yeah. We can appreciate the uh, kidney cortex and uh, medulla here. And if I rotate a little further, then I, I will probably reach to the spleen area. Spleen is the tail area of the pancreas. Now I am looking at the spleen here. Yeah, yeah. Anthony is helping me. Yes, yeah. Uh, but uh, this time you are just focusing on the pancreas, so the range is very important. I don't need uh, this wide view. To see the pancreas clearly, I just need uh, 5 cm or 4.5 cm in the penetration depth. Now I can see the pancreas again and the uh, body and tail area is uh, completely normal. I cannot see any uh, abnormal structure here. Uh, this area is, uh, this is SMA. This structure is a superior mesentery artery coming from aorta here. And uh, this is SMA. If I rotate a little further, then I can appreciate cystic structure here. This is a fairly large cystic lesion, uh, different from pseudocyst or uh, simple cyst. Looks like a cystic tumor. And if you measure the dimension of this lesion, uh, yes, yes, then, hmm. and we can see this is septated cystic lesion, not unilocular cyst. There are multiple septations inside. 
And the second word, the septa shows a prominent thickening, this area, this area, this area. So do you think this is likely to be benign or malignant? Uh, looks like uh, if we see these areas, this area looks like a nearly mess. So I'm more suspecting the uh, uh, malignant lesion rather than benign one. These look like uh, mural nodules, right? Yeah, mural nodule. And the size of mural nodule is not a uh, small. Uh, if you measure the dimension of this one here and here is about um, about 7.5 millimeter, more than yes. 5 millimeters. So it's a pretty large mural nodule inside. What, what, what are the features that suggest to you that this is a malignant uh, cystic lesion? Uh, malignant cyst when we suspect malignancy uh, uh, by several criteria, one is uh, the presence of large mural nodule, uh, like this case. Uh, which is quite suggestive of finding and if the lesion is uh, large and with the complex structures uh, generally that uh, supports the diagnosis of malignant cystic lesion rather than benign if the e even though the size is large internal structure is very simple and the unilophilasis there there is no an, uh, any other septations or mural nodules uh, in those cases uh, uh, benign cystic lesion is suggested, but this case is different. Okay. And uh, when when he found some lesion in the pancreas, uh, we just uh, uh, we must think about the possibility of uh, another lesion in another area of the pancreas. So I found this big lesion here, but I will search down to the head area. Uh, if there is multifocal lesion then the possibility of IPMN uh, actually increases. Uh, I, uh, previously I examined the body lesion and now I inserted my scope into the head portion due to the second part and now looking at this another cystic lesion here. Uh, this uh, vascular structure is a portal vein and the SMV junction. This is called the portal confluence area and uh, uh, very close to that uh, portal vein, we can see another cystic lesion showing a, red, a, a large mural nodule here. Sometimes this kind of lesion uh, can be caused by mucin plug. Uh, for the differential diagnosis, I think a contrast enhanced EUS is a very powerful tool. Mucin plug does not show any vascularity after contrast injection, but uh, mural nodule can show some vascular uh, enhancement after contrast injection. So I'm going to use contrast for uh, this case uh, for the differential diagnosis of these uh, changes. What is the size? Uh, Anthony checked it and it is about 7 millimeter, 6.7 millimeter in uh, diameter. Again, a rather large mural nodule. Okay, can we contrast time here? Yeah. Can we change it to contrast mode? Yes, uh, right side. When you inject contrast, uh, it takes a little bit of time, about 10 seconds, the vascularity and normal pancreatic parenchyme shows enhancement. So we need to compare the pancreas parenchymal enhancement and uh, this mural nodule enhancement. Okay, injection. Now we are injecting contrast to Sonoview, the second generation contrast agent. And we are looking at the right side of the screen, harmonic imaging. and. Uh, the time is, at first we will see the vascular enhancement at the portal vein area. Yeah. Not now. Okay, now the vessel show starts to show enhancement. So there's uh, a vascular enhancement in the portal vein right here. And also yes. we can see some uh, vascularity inside the mural nodule. You can see the uh, moving echoes. I'm going to enlarge the image a little bit. Yes. Yes. Is yes, there something yes. moving inside the... You can the see the vascularity inside of the ah. mural nodule, uh, which confirms that this lesion is not mu mucin plug. This is a uh, true mural nodule, uh, which means neoplastic growing inside the cyst, huge cyst. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, we are also suspecting malignant lesion such as a mucinous cystic neoplasm or IPMN. Serocystic lesion rarely transform to malignant neoplasm. 
and the pseudocyst never. And also uh, other uh, simple cyst, retention cyst or lymphoepithelial cyst does not show this kind of changes. So the main possibility I think is uh, IPMN and MCN. But we observed several lesions in the pancreas. We previously observed in the body lesion and this is head lesion and I actually saw another small lesion in the uncinate process. So considering all these facts, I think the possibility of malignant IPMN is the highest one in this case. Is there any comment or uh, questions for this case? Uh, I think you have shown very clearly how to use the contrast and uh, the vasculature inside the lesion. Yes. Um, so, um, so this patient has a high risk uh, cystic lesion in the, uh, the uh, body, uh, in the neck, as well as the head of the uh, pancreas. Um, Professor So, uh, I think in this lesion, uh, both me and Professor So think we need a fine needle aspiration cytology. Um, but before that, we also want to demonstrate a new technology, which is a needle confocal probe examination. So um, some of us may be quite, uh, may be familiar with the confocal uh, probe. Um, it has been developed for um, um, uh, probe-based uh, examination in lumen as well as in the bowel duct, and recently uh, they've been also be been able to um, uh, decrease the size of the probe to a needle size. So, it's, so now it's a 0 0.85 French, which fits into a 19 gauge needle. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try to puncture the lesion and uh, insert the probe and see if we can see the cellular structure of the lesion. Can you show the probe with before you insert okay. it? Uh, okay, so we're going to show the probe. Uh, we've just preloaded it, so we're going to pull it out again. And then um, we have um, France with us, so she's going to pull out, uh, push out the needle. And then she's going to push out the probe. Yeah, I think it's, it's out already. How, how big is it? It's out one millimeter. I don't know if you can see on the screen. Can you see it on the screen? It's pretty small. Okay. Okay, you can oh, see okay. the blue light right there. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. So it's a very delicate structure. Um, so we pull back the probe and then pull back the needle. Okay. How many times Thank can you. you use this needle probe? Ten times. It's uh, scheduled <laughs> to die after ten times. So uh, I, I, I had the pleasure to meet with uh, Irvin Waxman last week. Um, he just published a study uh, validating the results of the needle probe, uh, confocal probe in uh, uh, assessing pancreatic lesions. Um, for their study, they've recruited uh, around 60, 70 patients, um, both serious as well as uh, IPMN. Um, they were able to manage a very good uh, specificity, uh, reaching 100% uh, in terms of diagnosis. And the sensitivity is uh, between 60 to 70%. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to puncture the lesion. So I'm going to advance my needle a little bit. Okay. okay. I want to see the tip of my needle. Okay. So, um, yeah. so, can you see the tip of the needle? Yes. So, I want to position that so that my needle sh can pass through the most solid part of the lesion. Which is around here. So, I'm wait for waiting for the patient's breathing. Okay, maybe I go in here. Okay, pull back now. Okay, I want to see my needle. Which is just which is right around there. here. Yeah. The TV. Okay, I push in my scope a little bit. Okay. So I hope you can appreciate my the, the location of my needle, which is around there. Yes. Can you see the tip? It's already I inside think I can the see the tip. The tip. Yeah? Yes, it's and advancing yeah. now, right? Mm. Yeah, it's right here. The tip of the needle uh -huh. is here. So this is a solid lesion, right? Okay. So I'm going to push out the uh, probe slightly. And then we want to have contact with the um, cystic lesion. So we want to inject some uh, fluorescein right now. Can we inject the fluorescein? So the fluorescein is the material. And already I think we are seeing some images. Mm -hmm. There are typical images that we see in IPMN. We're looking for papillary uh, 
can you magnify, uh, can you images? magnify the confocal image for us? Um, I mean, yeah, put it yeah. on the bigger picture, yes. So uh, we're looking for papillary lesions which uh, resemble a leaf-like appearance. Um, we are just injecting this fluorescent. We've injected already, so it's going to take a few seconds. So I think the image is yeah. clearing up now. Are you seeing confocal images? So this, to me, looks a little bit like papillary lesion. Yeah. There are some dark bands which yeah. are suspicious of malignancy. Yeah. But uh, I'll, we'll wait for a few more seconds so that the image clears up a little bit more. So theoretically, this technology can replace um, aspiration okay. of, of the substance for histology? Okay. Well, yes. Uh, if you see very typical appearance, um, from the studies, they're claiming 100% uh, specificity. But the problem is uh, uh, you don't see it all the time. Um, around 67% sensitivity. So, um, then what, will what are we the final now? goal of cell video? Yeah. I mean, Bruno is smiling. So. Yeah. But Theo, can you explain what is on the screen? Okay, right now we're not seeing anything. <laughs> But just then, okay. You did a lot of imagination. Though. Okay. Show you the typical appearance of the IPMN uh, papillary lesion on a picture. That's provided by Selvizio to me. So this is what we want to see, right? C can you explain what is this? Uh, the so the um, area is the cancer or the... So what? these are the papillary projections on the surface of the cyst uh, of the IPMN. Um, I'm holding the... Uh, uh, um, okay. So these are the papillary lesions. Those fingers. Are yeah, the it's like a finger thing. So these are the papillary projections on the surface of the cyst. Uh, so we're looking for this sort of thing on in the IPMN. So uh, if you go back to the uh, Selvizio image. So we're actually not seeing individual cells. Um, depends on, depending on the nature of the lesion. So if we're looking at a serious Cyst adenoma, we're actually looking for blood vessels on the surface of the cyst. For malignancy, then we're looking for um, uh, 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 very dark bands, which are actually the um, malignant uh, columnar uh, epithelium. Okay, see, so right it's there, okay. From Can uh, we pause that? Can we pause that? It's different from okay. doing the confocal on the okay. uh, mucosal so surface. So these are, can you see on the image, uh, the confocal image? Right now, yes. so these is these are the typical um, papillary projections you can we see on the surface of the 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 IPMN. So it's a lower magnification of the surface contour. Yes. Of the inside the cyst. Yes. So uh, w what we want to see also is if there are any m potential malignancy within this area. So can we scroll back a little bit more? Uh, now the picture is better, Yes. but uh, can you tell me what, whether this you think is malignant or benign? Right now I'm still seeing IPMN uh, appearances, so I don't see definite uh, malignant uh, features, which are the dark, very irregular bands. Okay, 